During the afternoon, those winds decrease a little bit, but it will stay breezy. The winds finally settle this evening, and then overnight expect a light north wind. But until then, it will be a bit windy out there. Those north winds will usher in some very dry air. So once again, fire weather going to be a big concern. Elevated fire weather for most areas, but in the far northern big country, we are seeing critical fire weather. And because of that, a red flag warning is now in effect from 10 a.m. through 10 p.m. for Kane and Knox County. Expect critical fire weather for Tomorrow, those winds pick right back up. Gusty winds return Thursday. It will be a breezy Friday, then even stronger winds to close out this week. So because those winds pick up, pick back up tomorrow, well, right now there is a fire weather watch for, th for uh, Thursday from 10 a.m. through 8 p.m. Critical fire weather likely Thursday because of that dry air and that strong northwest wind. So after a few morning clouds, the afternoon looks to be very sunny. Dry weather is settling in for us. Tonight looks to be clear and dry. Thursday should be very sunny too. As far as highs, around 25 degrees cooler than what we saw Tuesday, around 70 for most areas, a bit cooler off to the east. Snyder only around 68, so it's going to be a pretty mild day. For Abilene today, high around 70, should be very sunny with that wind. Tonight, the wind settles, temperatures getting chilly, low around 42. To Brownwood, 73, a little bit warmer, plenty of sunshine today. Then overnight, it's going to be getting chilly, low around 41 degrees with a mostly clear sky as that wind settles. Mild temperatures through Friday, and then this weekend, those winds turn to the south, going to be warming us up. Expect some small chances for some storms. Monday, still a bit too far out to pinpoint the exact timing. And then Tuesday, back to being hot.